Hello, resellers, and welcome to the September 2023 eBay supersized sales of $100 or more. The sales in this video come from my Facebook group where we have a dedicated thread every month for sales of $100 or more. So for possible inclusion in these videos, make sure you're posting your sales there. All right, let's jump in and get started. We've got Kristen Whitus, Tori Birch Heels, bought at Goodwill for $5, found two pairs actually, and took a best offer of 100, took 10 months to sell. There you can see Tory Burt shoes, black leather Ellie ankle strap, high heels. Five bucks sold for a hundred. Diana Warren paid seven dollars at a church rummage sale, took approximately six months to sell for best offer of one hundred dollars. Hallmark Frosty Friends ornaments lot of seven from 2006 to 2012. A hundred bucks for seven Christmas ornaments. Zachary McDoor, our famous or I guess infamous garbage man philosopher. He says, paid $20 for this cookie jar at a consignment shop. I love cookie jars and would decorate my kitchen with them, but I'm the man of the house, <laughs> therefore not in charge of household decor. Well, Zachary, I guess it's good that you know your place. <laughs> this is a Metlox by Vincent Dinosaur cookie jar. It sold for $104.50. He paid 20 bucks. Jenny Payan purchased these teaks locally for $35, used them for a few months and decided to list them for $125. They sold on best offer of $105 within three weeks. Unfortunately, teaks don't have the resale value they used to. Three years ago, you could get near retail on them. They're still a great flip if you find them. These are Teak's Rose Gold Glam Ballet Flats, size nine. So this is another example of an item where supply is catching up with demand, but still a good flip. 105 bucks and she only paid 35. Toby Crimmin, this five inch bowl was included in a large lot of Fiesta wear. We bought this in Alma, Michigan at a garage sale. The lot also included the vintage Bolo syrup bottle. We sold that earlier this year sent out many offers as low as $85 trying to get this to its forever home. After about three months, out of the blue, it sold for full asking price. It pays to be patient. Yes, that is the hardest thing really about being human. <laughs> it's just patience, waiting, waiting for that payoff. The item is Vintage 1930s Fiesta Radioactive Red Mixing Nesting Bowl. Sold for $105.99. And Toby has another one. I listed this Dungeons and Dragons book for my brother-in-law. He has all of his old books from back in the day. Had it listed for $375. He was happy to take an offer of 120. 1980 Advanced AD and D T S R Deities. I don't know what that means. I guess that's just the title. Dungeons and Dragons book. Not bad for something that's just laying around. 
Dina Napoli. Free to me from my college roommate parent's house. Yes, it pays to know people and to keep up those relationships because when they find out you sell on eBay, they might just give you stuff. Anyway, she said it was complete but without the original box. I listed it for $125 and accepted an offer for $110. It sold in three hours of listing. 1984 vintage Hasbro G.I. Joe attack vehicle. Free and sold for $110. Allie Curtis, I found these boots at Murdoch's. They were on clearance for $32. When I brought them home, I realized the insoles were missing. So I called Danner and they sent me some new insoles. They sold very quickly on offer for $110 plus shipping. I could have waited, but they're big and bulky to store, so I decided to let them go for the lower amount. $32 sold for $110. Kimberly McCoy Furman. I bought at a thrift store for $1, listed on and off for a year. Recently relisted and sold for full asking price. This is a fun Van Halen hat. Adjustable, snapback, yellow and black, old school vintage. One dollar sold for a hundred and fifteen. Patricia Morales paid fifteen dollars at a thrift store. Buyer paid a hundred and fifteen dollars and eighty eight cents after a ten percent discount and shipping. Sold in about a month. This is a Banana Republic Marzato suit, men's, 44 regular, $15, sold for $115.88. Natalie Benton Gallo, I bought this at a church pay what you want sale. I might have $1 into it. I really didn't know what I had when I picked it up, but knew it was older and the silky material seemed like some of the older plush I have seen go for hire. I took it home and didn't even look it up until a few days later and realized I had one with the original necklace and it glowed, meaning glows in the dark. Just today I adjusted the price but added back for customer to pay shipping and the change paid off. I was previously selling for $139 with free shipping just to see if that helped. I paid probably a dollar for it. This is a vintage PJ Sparkles Sparklins Pink Plush Bunny Mattel 1989 and it sold for $119. Kim Smith paid $50 at Ross, sold on best offer of $120 in less than a month. Papalo Birkenstock heeled wedge sandals, so they are brand new with the tag, $50 sold for $120. Karen Goodner Monks, few dollars as part of a large garage sale buy, sold right away for full price. Rare and Vintage 2007 Forces of Valor, um, so it's a tank, it's a die cast tank. So just a few dollars and it sold for $124.99. Sherry Goulden Ogden bought this vintage wooden buoy for $10 from Facebook Marketplace. It took several months to sell but finally got a best offer of $125 plus shipping. The buoy is so heavy the shipping alone cost $75. Rare vintage antique lobster fishing buoy wooden 
authentic maritime Nova Scotia because that is where Sherry lives sold for 125 cost her 10 bucks Loretta Mendoza purchased at an estate sale for two dollars in May listed for 200 took an offer of 125 beach towels are one of my favorite things to look for and I agree with you on that Loretta I've been seeing them pop up on the money making Mondays threads so I've started looking for those too because some of the older or limited editions or uh, ones that were just made for advertising can really go for a lot so this is Gillies Pasadena Texas Vintage Bull Riding Cowboy Beach Towel. Two bucks. Sold for one twenty-five. This is such a beautiful item. Wendy Kruger paid five dollars at an annual church sale. Sold for a hundred and twenty-five plus shipping in eleven months. Hattie Carnegie Figural Seahorse Brooch with rhinestones that is just so beautiful five dollars sold for 125 Bethany Henderson finally got a $100 August sale paid two dollars in the bins sold in two months for full price of one hundred and twenty six dollars this is a vintage Michael Simon New York cardigan sweater from the 90s some people call these ugly sweaters I do not <laughs> I think they're quite beautiful and they're handmade and show a lot of artistry which is why they sell for so much two dollars sold for a hundred and twenty six Karen Kissling Morris I bought this cooler at a thrift store for ten dollars it took me a while to list because I couldn't find a box big enough and I wanted to get the shipping right when I finally found a box the shipping was almost sixty dollars I had a lot of interest in lowball offers but it didn't sell for 30 days I relisted it with a flat rate of thirty dollars for shipping and it sold in a few days on offer of a hundred and thirty dollars this is a Yeti soft side cooler. Ten dollars sold for a hundred and thirty. Leanne Scrock. This was my personal label printer from when I was doing Amazon FBA. Sold within twenty four hours. It is a Dymo label writer thermal printer. Sold for one forty nine. 95 patty larvieri purchased for 25 cents beginning of the summer i always pick up any unused new condition toiletries when i see them usually in bundles so as not to point any one item out but also because i learned that every once in a while there will be a discontinued or vintage item that sells for lots of cash never know till I get home and do my research this one took my breath away couldn't resist trying to get full asking price as I saw in solds and this one didn't disappoint this is Jaipur by Boucheron soothing aftershave balm discontinued 25 cents sold for $149.99 Paula Brennan Waters paid under one dollar for all three music boxes at the bins sold full price internationally in three weeks Franklin Mint best of the Beatles music box hmm. one hundred and forty nine dollars and ninety nine cents and these cost one dollar Jessica Wolf two sets at forty dollars each sold for a hundred and seventy dollars each plus shipping after nearly a year listed absolutely beautiful pieces 
these are vintage Waterford crystal steak knives in the original box four piece set signed those are beautiful forty dollars sold for a hundred and seventy Anthony Aguilera my wife found this at a garage sale for only ten dollars it's a vintage resist all men's cowboy hat with a popular color had a low ball offer of 125 within a few hours of listing held out and accepted a better offer the next day of hundred and seventy two dollars wife is very happy so this is a vintage resist all silver belly self-conforming 4x beaver cowboy hat ten dollars sold for a hundred and seventy two in one day we've got Kim Furman again free from a TRU promo from a long time ago so Toys R Us found it unpacking boxes from a move sold for best offer of a hundred and eighty dollars this is a Lego Star Wars chrome stormtrooper minifig sealed well, that's a fun find when you're unpacking from a move. Free, sold for $180. Louis Prizzy, purchased at a garage sale for 15 bucks, listed very high at 250, accepted an best offer of 248 hours. And this is a large lot of Littlest Pet Shop. What a bunch of tiny little plastic toys that are valuable 200 bucks for that lot George Kelly bought this ship's clock at a garage sale for 20 bucks accepted a best offer of 200 took about six months to sell the item is vintage Chelsea Boston ships clock with bell chime four and a half inches so he sold it for ten times what he paid twenty dollars into two hundred Bill Hunt I got these Coors Light wall lamps for twenty bucks at a private estate pick they sold for two hundred and seven dollars in forty seven days and yes those are very cool looking vintage Coors Light globe lamp wall mount sconce pair for the man cave twenty dollars sold for two hundred and seven dollars George Kelly has another one bought this Tiffany ring at a garage sale for one dollar accepted best offer of two hundred and twenty two dollars took a few weeks to sell Tiffany and company Somerset mesh ring with diamond accents sterling silver and I'm wondering if the little jewelry bag came with it or if that was a George Kelly edition that was asked on the Facebook group so maybe George will give us that answer Leslie Kidd I bought five of these printer cartridges for thirty dollars at a local thrift and sold all in about a week in addition to this set of four there was another black cartridge I sold separately for sixty five toner and printer cartridges can really be hit or miss but when they hit they can really hit so these are genuine HP toner print cartridge set and they sold for two hundred and thirty nine dollars Michelle Laverty spotted this guy in a thrift store and thought he looks special couldn't find him but saw other pieces by this artist that looked good purchased for three dollars and ninety nine cents when I did more research at home I still couldn't find much so I decided to list him high sold within two hours for full asking price of two hundred and fifty dollars perhaps not high enough but I'm happy yes Michelle I would be happy too. four dollars into two hundred and fifty dollars in just two hours the item is Vicki Smyers Bethany low folk art Halloween boy okay now we've got Casey 
Technically, this was free at an estate sale. I actually bought a chair for personal use for $1,100, so I asked if they'd throw this in for me. It's probably the most I've ever spent to earn a freebie. Sold for $330 on auction with international shipping to Lebanon. If I didn't buy the chair, I likely would have paid $5 or so since it wasn't priced at the sale. I just found it in a Ziploc bag stuffed in a drawer in the dining room. I'm not afraid to open every drawer and cupboard in the house. <laughs> yeah, Casey, I can see that about you. This is 30 Bakelite Backgammon Chris Lloyd Butterscotch Brown Checkers and Dice. $330. Ginger Lamp Bright. I bought this at a garage sale several years ago for personal use for $5. Never really had the right chair to use with it, so I decided to sell it. I was shocked at how valuable it was. Listed high and had a lot of watchers. Got an offer of $350 plus shipping and decided to take it. Vintage Adrian Pearsall Mid-Century Ottoman with no cushion. Okay, $5, sold for $350. Jane Brown, who has her own thrift store. Free from an estate clean-out. Sold in two weeks on offer for $400. And to think I almost let them go for $5 a piece at the shop. A little voice in my head said, Google Lens. And I made a better decision. These are two antique 19th century French Old Paris porcelain vases. Free? And she picked up a cool 400 bucks. Colleen Olson bought 14 pair of these factory seconds at a unique town garage sale. $50 a pair. These sold in four days for best offer of 400 plus shipping. Red Wing Heritage Shoes Boots factory seconds and still got $400 for him. Okay, we've got Thomas whose last name I'm not going to attempt because I'll probably butcher it. Bought this Under Armour recharge suit off offer up for 130 and sold it for 500. It's the second one I've sold. The first one was a Goodwill find for $4 and sold for $400 in June. I have one more to sell. Under Armour Recharge Energy Body Suit, men's size, large, compression. Hmm, very interesting. Never heard of that, but we'll be looking for those now. Kayla McFadden, my mother-in-law bought a music cabinet for $50 at an estate sale that had this tube receiver, a reel-to-reel, -reel, and a turntable in it. She let us have the tube receiver to sell for parts as we don't think it works. Sold the same day as listing it for $525. Fisher 500C for parts or restoration. Okay, that's a win. And finally, our spotlight sale is Neil Rihanna Flora purchased for 99 cents at Goodwill. Sold after two hours of listing for $825 plus shipping. This is Plants vs. Zombies Plush. Extremely rare. That's just mind-blowing. Congratulations on that sale. And congratulations to everyone. Keep posting those sales. And I'll be back next week with the seller shout-out. Have a great week on eBay, everybody. Bye.